Want to make this cool offset text animation in After Effects? I'll show you how. Let's jump in. First, let's create a new composition. The very first thing we'll do is give our project a name. I'll call it Text Animation. Now, I'll set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and the duration to about four seconds. Once that's done, just hit OK. <coughs> now, grab the text tool and type the word OFFSET in all caps. Choose a bold font so the letters look nice and clear for animation. Then, align it right to the center of the screen. Next, with the text layer selected, right-click, go to Create, and choose Create Shapes from Text. What this does is convert your text into editable vector shapes, giving us full control over each letter's path. Now, select the shape layer, head over to the search bar, and type Path. You'll see all the path properties of the text. At the very first frame, add keyframes for all those path properties. Before we start animating, let's set some guides. These will show us exactly how far the letters we want to stretch. Perfect. Now, move a few frames forward, select the path, hold Shift, and drag it down. Then, select the top part of the letter, hold Shift, and drag it up. Do this for each letter one by one. Notice how the letter S looks a little off? No problem, let's fix it. Select these two points, hold Shift, and drag them upward. Then adjust the other two points in the same way. And just like that, it looks like a proper S. Now continue adjusting the remaining letters. Once that's done, go back to your first frame keyframes, copy them, move a few frames forward, and paste. Do this again a couple of times to build the motion. At the end, copy the first frame keyframes again and paste them so the animation loops back nicely. Now, select all the keyframes, right-click, and choose Easy Ease. Open the graph editor, select everything, and drag the handles slightly to the left for a smoother motion. To add the offset effect, just stagger each letter's keyframes by two frames. Finally, go to the Effects panel, add a Transform effect, and change the Skew value to minus 5 for a subtle finishing touch. And that's it! Your animation is ready! If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below. It really helps me keep making more content like this.